Hi, I'm Eddie of Eddie's Reef Aquaria. Today's video is going to be on the Cowwasser Dripper. It's a DYI kit that they sell at BRS, in other words, Bulk Reef Supply. I went ahead and I purchased it, and this video is going to be like a step by step what it includes and steps of, you know, how I put it all together. And here it is on the back left corner of the tank. So I'm going to talk about this. I'm going to talk about what uh calc washer i'm actually going to use uh, that'll be towards the end of the video and then uh why am i using it of course the the intro is uh i have 7.8 on ph now ph if you all out there you go to different videos and you go to your lfs and all that they'll tell you that more important is the alkalinity versus the ph and then as you must be aware I mean, I've been doing this for many, many years, 30 years and more. You do not chase numbers. But when it comes to pH, uh, the range, the, 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 on a reef, it should be like 0.78 to 8.1 or, 8, or, you know, to 8 .1 or 8.2. Now, I'm having issues trying to raise the pH from 7.8. I've tried all the tricks in the book. I've raised my MP10 to give more oxygen uh, agitation of the water nothing it doesn't work it's set at 7.8 so in that case I have to use some other means which would be an additive and of course cock washer is very common as all of you out there um, might be aware of so what I'm going to do is that again like I'm reiterating I'm going to talk about you know how how the kit comes the presentation of the kit how I build it and then at the end what cow washer i'm actually doing so i hope you enjoyed the video but before don't forget to uh, subscribe to my channel hit the like button and smash that notification bell so let's take a deep dive into it and check it out hold on okay so i decided to take it out of the actual bag where it comes and so here i'm going to go through the parts list okay way out here you have the actual valve that's the one that you regulate to regulate the actual drip. Then um, right there, these two, these are like slip attachments that go to the bulkheads. So they go on top and it'll, you'll be able to move it around. Now down here, there's an optional elbow that's included if you wanna use it. And that would be to blow in uh, air pressure so you don't have to use your mouth to start you know, the drip method. Now on the other side here, then you have the supply tubing and then you have the long rigid tubing which is the one that goes underneath uh, one of these uh, bulkheads and that I'll explain when I do the actual assembly. I decided to go with a smaller one here because really I don't I mean I don't think that what I'm going to be dripping is not going to be that much to be honest with you and it's a small tank it's a well it's a it's a Nubo 40 a 40 gallon so although I, I got these two containers over at the dollar store the family dollar and i just to be safe i bought the small one and i bought a bigger one i do not foresee that i'm going to use the bigger one that would be for a, a lot of more cock washer again for a more bigger water volume so i'm going to start uh to use this small one here and then what i'm going to do next on the next little section of uh, dyi on this I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start to assemble it. Then I'll go back to the video. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect the uh, stem elbows, which are these back here. Then you have the valve. And then the, the 90 degree there is actually used with the valve. Uh, you don't need to use it, but that's in reference to the configuration where this is going to actually sit 
on the tank and I already know where I'm going to place it which would be on the left back part of the tank. So I'm going to stop the video here, I'm going to assemble it and then I'm going to show you the different features of how this actually looks if I was to take the, the lid off on the one that I'm going to use. Hold on. Okay now here I went ahead and I took the, the lid off so you get an idea how this actually works. Okay, there, what, you're, what I'm showing at this end, uh, let me approach it so you guys can see it better. Okay, this here, this is the underside of the actual um, bulkheads. Now, one of them, you go ahead and you cut one of these um, hard plastic tubing, quarter inch, and you place it into the Murloc. Now, what you must be aware is that you always have to leave at least an inch or, or inch and a quarter from the bottom because what happens is when you go ahead and you stir up the caulk washer on the bottom there's going to be a deposit that's called caulk slurry which is that white uh, concentrated white um, liquid and that's what you have to avoid to actually put it into the uh, actual tank so what you want is what's above that which is actually the prepared uh, caulk washer so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop the video I'm put it, I'm going to put it all together and I'll show you how it looks okay so here's the final product once I assembled it this is what it looks like so you have here the um, this is where you would blow in uh, air and then it would uh, apply pressure to the actual uh, jar that you're using and then of course it would drip through this one where you would uh, adjust the uh, valve in reference to the uh, drops that you want to use. Now, before I go to the next step, which would be the caulk washer, okay, uh, how you can regulate uh, the amount of caulk washer that you're introducing to your tank. Number one, you can increase or lower the amount of drops per second that you're uh, applying. That's, that's one. The second way would be uh, if you see that you have to do a lot of drops, well, then you would get a, a bigger jug. I do not foresee that on this tank. Of course, what you use here is RO. I'm going to use the RODI water that I use with the filters that I have here in my home. So you use that, you use RO or RODI, you know, distilled water, and then you apply the amount of cock washer in reference to what I was uh, explaining shortly. So uh, that's basically it. Now uh, that leads me now to the next section of the video, which would be the actual cock washer, what I'm using and so on and so on. And then I'm also going to shoot uh, the positioning of where I'm going to put this, which would be on the back left side of the tank. Okay, so now that we build it and we're ready to introduce the cock washer. So what you do is uh, you put RODI water like I reiterated before and then uh, the Calc Plus 2 by Brightwell Aquatics uh, the recommendation the dosage is that per gallon to put at least one teaspoon so what you do is you shake it and then uh, you wait a while for that um, calc washer deposit on the bottom deposit you know right on the bottom and all you use is the containment the actual preparation of the liquid uh, further up from that section you never introduce that cloudy cock washer okay now uh, why am I using it I started basically to talk about it like I said before my pH is steady at 7.8 there's no way that I can bring up the pH no higher than 7.8 I've tried everything now, like I said before, I'm going to reiterate, uh, you should not chase numbers. But in this, in, what you really should be looking is at the alkalinity. That's the, the stabilizer when it comes to the buffering and all that. Uh, the pH, you really shouldn't chase it. But the rule of thumb by research that I've done is that you should have at least from 7.8 to let's say 8.1 or 8.2. Now, what that's saying is, it's actually, I'm not actually trying to raise the pH because it should be at 8.0 uh, or something. 7.8 is fine. It's the low range, the minimum that you should have. 
the object to raise your pH on a reef aquarium is to have faster coral growth. So the higher the pH, the faster your corals are actually going to grow. So that's the purpose why I'm actually using a uh, cock washer to actually raise the pH. Not that because it should be at 8.0 or something. Uh, no, you always, like I've said before, you always have to let the tank talk to you. You know, if it wants to be at a specific level, when it, when it, if it's either calcium or alkalinity, just leave it there. But the problem is that I'm not able to raise it from 7.8, which is fine. But if you want faster coral growth, that's where you should buffer it. Use something. Use uh, an ingredient, in this case, cockwash is the safest, to actually bring up that pH. You see, so that being said, what I'm going to use by Brightwell Aquatic is the Calc Plus 2. Okay, now what does that mean? What that means is that it actually brings calc washer. It also is injected with strontium and magnesium. So what you're talking about is you have uh, calcium hydroxide, you have magnesium hydroxide, and then you have strontium hydroxide. Now, uh, what you should do at the beginning, before you start to introduce this product already diluted in water, like I was mentioning, check your pH. What I use is the salifer. That's very accurate and that's more than enough. So test it. I know it's going to be 7.8 in my case. Test it and then start the drip process. Now what I'm starting with is about uh, a drop per 2 to 3 seconds. I'm doing that and checking it more or less every so often make sure it's dripping at that time because as you know uh, caulk washer uh, you know through the tubing and through the actual valve it will get a little clogged up when that happens what you got to do is just take that section apart and just soak it in uh, vinegar to clean it and then you put it back together so I'm checking it every so often I check it once twice or, or three times a day make sure that it's uh, giving that amount of drops. So that's basically uh, what I'm using. It's an excellent product. It's not only cow washer, as I said, but it's also enhanced with strontium and also with magnesium. You shouldn't have any problem uh, because now you're going to say, well, wait a minute, Eddie, you start to introduce this. This is not only cock washer. You're introducing more strontium and magnesium. Well, when it comes to corals, corals will never say no to strontium. Magnesium, it can go as high as uh, 1500 and you'll be fine. So that's basically what I wanted to bring up. What's the actual product that I'm going to be using? Well, that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video, found it interesting, educational, and fun. Of course, again, like I said before, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the thumbs up, and smash that notification. And like I say at the end of all of my videos, happy reefing. Thanks for watching and until next time, bye-bye.